Elliot, we're just a couple of days away now from the big kickoff against Norwich City and our first game back in the Championship in 25 years. So to get ready for it, we thought we'd put some of the fans' questions to you that have been burning all summer. To kick off, we've got uh, OUFC Caden, who says, how special was the 18th of May? Because we need to remember the reason we've got to this place. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a day that everyone associated will remember for, for the rest of their life. You know, it was, it was incredible. And not just, not just that day, it was, you know, the weeks after it. And, you know, it was just amazing. Like the parade that, you know, I spoke to the lads that the parade and, and being together with everyone from the city, you know, that it was incredible. And, you know, to, to celebrate the win in front of the fans, with your family, with everyone, it was, yeah, it was incredible. Next one from Will OUFC asks, how many times have you relived your playoff goal against Peterborough? Yeah. Um, to be honest, uh, yeah, a few times, but, <laughs> yeah. but not as many as, as people might think. But um, yeah, look, it was, it was just massively important to, to make sure that we were still in that game going into the, the away leg. We knew it was going to be a massive game and yeah, to get the goal, it was, it was a great feeling. Next one comes from Greg Ogg, who says, how many headers do you think you're going to score this year in the Championship? <laughs> Hopefully a few more than, than last year. You know, uh, we know how important set pieces are for us um, and for anyone in the, in the Championship. So, you know, we've been working on them a lot this pre-season. So, yeah, there's a, there's a goal for the defenders to score, to score as many as we can. So the next one is about your defensive partner. It comes from Daniel Drake. It says, why does it work so well between you and Kieran Brown? What makes a partnership click? Hmm. Good question. Um, oh, me and me and Key get, get on well on and off the pitch. I think that definitely helps. Um, he's just, he's a, he's a very good player. Um, I, think it, I think it helps when, when you've got, you know, very good players next to you. So, um, Look, he does a lot of covering for me. He does a lot, a lot of running that probably I should do. But um, no, he's he's a great lad on and off the pitch, and yeah, it's, it has worked well. Yeah. People talk about strike partnerships and how they need to work on things. Is it something that you do as a defensive duo? Well, we look. It just we sometimes it just clicks, right? And uh, you know, I've had a I've had a lot of partnerships over my career, and especially at Oxford um, with lads moving on and and so on. But um, yeah, look, we. We get on well, um, it shows on the pitch and hopefully, you know, whatever the partnership this year is, you know, it, it stays the same. Yeah. Um, this one comes from James Mackay, OUFC, who says, what is the best Oxford United game you've played in? I imagine it's probably one from recent years or is it something else? Well, can I be obvious and just yeah. say <laughs> the final? Uh, yeah, look, if, if we're going to go on actual performance, it's probably not going to be from me personally, um, that's, a, that's a good question. It's one that I'll have to think about. But from a team perspective and, you know, the occasion, it has to be the final, you know, mm -hmm. for, for us to go out there. And I know for a fact that a lot of people doubted us and probably put Bolton to, to you know, to, to get the win. And for us to go out there and put a display so dominant that we did um, against great opposition, you know, is something that we'll all remember. Yeah. So as we build up to the game on Saturday, it's a half twelve kickoff. So Tim Walker, OUFC, says, "What do you eat at kickoff? Is it twelve thirty? Uh, to be honest, my pre match is always beans on toast. Um, whether it's eight o'clock kickoff, three o'clock kickoff, half twelve. So I'll just wake up in the morning instead, and, and that will be my breakfast pre match. Just be beans on toast. Do you do anything special with it, or is there? <laughs> Nah, no. <laughs> I'm a very simple guy when it comes to food and my cooking's not the strong point. So, yeah, just beans on toast, bit of pepper, bit of salt. So Yeah, always done that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, next one comes from Henners underscore 41, saying, what are you most looking forward to in this season? Um, I think for all of us, I think it's about proving ourselves um, as a team and as an individual that we can that we can cope in the championship that we can deal with you know the teams that are here you know there's some strong competition it's going to be you know the the hardest games and the hardest season that we've probably all as individuals faced um but we're looking forward to the challenge i think that's that's the main thing to come against teams that you know are as strong as they are you know you lead your burnley's people like that and 
every game is going to be tough and you know it's about proving to ourselves and to others that, that we can handle it and we're, we're good enough to be here. I know the true answer is you're looking forward to the international breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are, we are looking forward to that as well. Yeah. And on a similar theme from Callum, OUFC asks, what away ground are you most looking forward to? Uh, Leeds, Ellen Road. Yeah. Uh, always have my, my family, half of my family from, you know, my, my dad's side, they are um, big Leeds fans, so it'll be good to go there. Yeah. Not got many left, Elliot. Um, this one comes from Grace Bailey, and it is... Has your mindset changed or will it change going into games against what are perceived as, as bigger named players for yourself as a as a defender and will you have to do anything differently as a leader in this season? Um, I think compared to last season, you go into games and you as an individual and as a team and probably the fans as well expect us to win most games. Whereas this season, it's, it's a bit different, um, you know, and, and I think from a mindset point of view, it's... It's about making sure that, like, well, to be fair, it probably stays the same as, as last season. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Uh, you have to stay calm, you have to stay. Um, throughout the season, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. Like, the, we, we expect that as every season. So it's about staying calm and, and level-headed. Um, but I think as, as captain, I think the main thing is to make sure lads stay concentrated and, you know on it all the way through because you know with with the teams that we're going to face one lack of concentration we're going to get punished it's it's how it is it's it's the league that we're in now so um yeah i think it's just making sure that on and off the pitch keep standards high stay concentrated and, mm. and keep going two more i'm going to wrap this one into into three because a lot of people are asking about targets for the season so eon said what the targets for the season dylan townsend said well we have the strength the determination to stay up and then one from mr GJC says, can we do an Ipswich? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's everyone hopes, don't they? So look, I think targets, are, it, it, it's, a, it's a weird one to, to say because we don't want to just say we want to stay up. We don't want to say we want to just finish here or, or there. We want to finish as high as we can. Now, where that goes, who knows, could do an Ipswich. You never know. You know, if you asked Ipswich, you know, what were their, were their targets? Would they have said promoted? Who knows? You never know. Um, and so I think for us, it's, it's just about not looking too far ahead. Um, you know, the end is 46 games. There's a lot of games. So we've got to stay focused on each and, each and every game and, and just make sure that we're, you know, just taking it little steps and, and seeing where it goes. Um, you know, there's going to be ups and downs, so it's, it's all about just doing the little steps. And last one from Ross. From a player's perspective, just how important will the fans be for us this season in the league? Because, I mean, we saw the scenes against Peter Brown in the playoffs at Wembley, so just talk to us about the support for this season. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to be absolutely huge, you know. Like, the, I said that the... the best atmosphere obviously was Wembley but the best atmosphere was Peterborough at home I think walking out to a full um, stadium with you know, the noise that they made it was just incredible and and I said that you know if we get that every week wow it'll make a it'll make a huge difference and you know they are so important to us um, you know that they're behind us and that we make sure that we go out there and put on a show for them. Elliot thanks very much and hopefully you're looking forward to Saturday now. Yep definitely.